What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in the crazy cart repair shop. Basically my brother ripped his too hard and his cart said mm -mm, mm -mm. Basically the battery would last about 10 to 15 minutes and eventually the motor just burnt out like it was giving off a burnt smell and it was like kind of smoking a little bit so got a new motor got two new hoverboard what are these 36 volt 36 yeah, 36 volt batteries that we are going to put in parallel and run it and see if everything gets fixed. And it should be maybe like a hair faster and it'll definitely last longer than mine because of the battery setup. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're going to figure it out and we're going to let you guys know so that if you guys have to do this repair at your house, you guys know how to do it. So we're going to start by taking this cover off, which comes off with couple of Phillips and we'll get to the motor. Lighting is not in. Not yet. So I put the other lights in. Oh, it's dropping all the nuts. It's literally dropping all of them. Really? Let me just put my hand under. bottom yeah yeah all right after you get the Phillips make sure you get the two screws back here they are a four millimeter uh, hex so go ahead and get that now it should come completely off Ooh, the LS3 motor <laughs> So the cord does go over there. Put the zip tie off. Dude, it still smells. Really? Get close to it and smell it. <clears throat> yeah, it does. You guys smell that? Stinks. Yep, they smell it. Comment down below if you guys smell it. <laughs> there we go. So that's free, this is free. Now, we have to figure out how this motor is mounted. Oh, it's just these. These tens up here. Sweet. want to do is I want to follow this cable and unhook it. Alright, so these are the ones coming from the motor right here. Oh, that, that's how they come off? I don't think they're supposed to, but that's how the other one is. We're going to have to check this video because I think it was plugged in like that. Mm, probably. Well, I guess we'll check the video. All right, so got that undone. Now we can pull the cables out, undo the rest. Hopefully the gear and the chain will be easy to just swap over. You Can you hold the motor? Yeah. All right, so if we drop it down, we can maybe take the chain off. Yep. I'm trying to pull this. Yeah. 
Teamwork makes the dream work. There we go. Out with the old. Ugh, that thing stinks, dude. I know. Start these screws to make sure they line up though. Mm -hmm. So, camera ran out of storage because I have like three videos recorded on it and I need to go inside and free up some space. So, we're recording with the good old iPhone. Right now, I just have to bolt the motor down and run the wires in. And I'm going to run in to not only free up some space, but I'm going to look at the video, see where these two go so I don't mix them up. And then we'll be back here installing the rest. didn't know we would need is uh, zip ties to zip tie it to these things oh, right here yeah. but we'll find some so right now just gonna feed it through here through this hole right here into the battery compartment and we'll plug it in after a short commercial break all right so it was about a 36 hour commercial I apologize <laughs> but Basically, it's a day and a half later. We took some pictures and basically, we said the black one goes, how? The black one's the one that's like standing up basically. Like this? Yeah. So black one goes like so. Red one goes in here. All right, so if we turn it on, it should, I guess, work. Move. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Ready? Yeah. Brown. Nothing. Nothing. Meaning the batteries are probably fried. You think though? Maybe. Go press it. I'm gonna be messing with these. Oh, you just have to tighten them or push them in more. I. Oh, there we go. The black one went in more. Go. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. All right. Well, we know that works. So now it's just about putting the batteries on. Yeah. That should be. I don't know if that's gonna be hard or easy, but at least we know it works now. So. We know for sure that the motor was fried. I mean, yeah. we could smell it, and obviously it wasn't working, so. Cool. We can put the, the front plastics back together, and then start working on the batteries. All right, so once you have your motor hooked up, make sure you put the zip ties here and here where they were before. That way your cable doesn't move and you can steer 180 degrees both sides. You'll be good to go. So let's throw this on. So, we got everything back together in the front. We're just gonna test it out real quick, make sure the motor is working as it should, and then we'll get back to the batteries. Oh, it's weak. Uh, I haven't pressed it Oh, you haven't? Hey! Oh! You lost the phone! There you go. We're good. Back in business. Go ahead. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Crazy car burnouts. All right. 
So we got three cables coming out of the charger, three coming out of the switch, and then the battery has just these two. So there's three going to the battery, two coming off the battery. This is a fuse and this is another fuse. So, I mean, I guess we unplug this and that's all there is to the batteries. To the batteries, yeah. Let's unscrew these. All right, you wanna put that down. So the battery should just come out then. Yeah. Wow. So that's all there is to it? What the heck? All right, so basically what we need to do is, holy crap, dude. What? The size difference. I know. Basically going from that to this. And then we got this connector that basically connects them all together. So this connector, this is too big. Is it? Yeah. Way too big. On the other commercial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the f Okay, so upon further investigation, we came to the conclusion that we are in fact dummies. The plugs on the batteries are XT60, and we ordered XT90 plugs. So these are too big. We got some of these on order. They'll be here soon. So when they're here, we're gonna continue the battery process. For now, we're gonna throw these back in here. Um, like I said, these were only lasting about 15 minutes, so at least it can ride for 15 minutes at a time. Um, we do have to make some new brackets to hold these little batteries. So basically we have these metal bars right here. So that goes on like that. It'll bend down, go over it, come down, and basically we'll fold another little ear. So it'll hold it nice and tight on both sides. They won't roll around anywhere. So this is where we have to make our bend downward. Do that. And we'll just force it down. So. Basically, we'll just measure this length right here, which is three and a half. So we just gotta measure three and a half inches down. Mark it. Oh, look at that. Nice. So I just have to drill a hole here. It'll have one one screw here and one screw here. Yeah. They won't go anywhere. Nice. There we go. All right, so it's been a couple days. We got the right XT60 connectors that we need instead of the 90. So just to show you guys a size difference, it's pretty big compared to the one we need. So. We got the right one. We also have the bracket here that's gonna hold the batteries. So we painted this a couple days ago. I like how we can just pick it up right. like that. <laughs> so today's goal is to take these batteries out, put these new ones in, and hopefully that's go so for cool. some rips. Yeah. yeah. All right, battery connector. Got that unplugged, gotta take this freaking Ooh, I put mine on tight. I gotta take these off. Alright, so put that there. 
take these batteries out. All right, so so I'm gonna mount the batteries first, and then I'm gonna work with the wiring. So from hole to hole here, we have a foot and a quarter. So six and an eighth would be the middle and we want to get this as centered as possible so around there we can throw our mounting bracket on and we're just going to use self tappers to secure it So I've got that secured. We're using these two to one XT60 connectors. Um, we found a deal where you can buy three for pretty cheap. So I got these because you only need one really, but I want to keep the factory connector right here. So what I'm gonna do is basically you connect these two in parallel, you end, you end up with this connector and then you take one from your other one, connect that there. So now I'm gonna cut these wires and splice this connector on them. That way I can use the factory plug and everything will be basically plug and play. So we're just gonna cut like that much off and then, let's see, about right there. So basically, gonna join these two so I can connect it here and connect it here now I have a link to these the three pack that we ordered in the description I'll have the link to the batteries in the description and I guess even the tools that I'll be using that way you guys know exactly how to do it power probe ready and then these things right here freaking lifesavers they are solder and seal connectors so basically it's kind of like a butt connector but it has solder inside that you melt so you're basically making a solder connection without having to pull out a solder gun so just gotta go black to black and red to red so basically you leave both the wires in between and then the solder just joins them together with some heat. So. And then you just don't do this with the lighter because I tried and it doesn't work. It has to be like a heat gun or something of that sort. This is a, a butane solder, soldering iron but it has the flameless tip so it's basically a heat gun. And now you work on the solder basically just heat it up until it melts and connects everything together so you can see it's starting to melt right there and that's basically it so I'm gonna work on the ground and we should be good to go and if you cut them the same length you'll have like a nice straight piece like that so These little blue seals you see here, they're basically water seals, so no water gets in or out. All right, so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and try to plug it in, see what happens. Right, 
So, in theory, if we turn this on and you press the pedal, it should move forward. Oh yeah! There oh you dang! Go. All right, all right. So that wraps up the install process, basically. So you got a lot more room, a lot less weight, a lot more juice, basically, because it's two thirty-six volts in parallel. So it should last longer and hopefully be a hair faster because one, a little bit more power and a little bit more weight saving. So let's go ahead and test it out. Go. <laughs> I like how you can see the batteries right under you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it looks cool. All right, guys. So that's how you install a new motor and new batteries on your crazy cart. Um, we used two 36 volt, 4.4 amp hour batteries. So, and we connected them in parallel. So basically, it's a 36 volt, basically 8.8 .8 amp hour battery. So should last a while and should be stronger we'll see how long they last they do have a three-year warranty like i said i'll have everything in the description below so you guys can get it yourselves but that's going to be it for this one so thanks for watching make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas like halfway oh my god i forgot it was connected that was stupid <laughs> that was so stupid <laughs> that was so funny it's okay we caught it on camera <laughs> it's not going to make it though it's for your uh, fail compilation <laughs> at the end of the year Oh, man.